Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Praveen here. And in today's video, we will be talking everything about the job description of a DevOps engineer, of an SRE engineer, of a non-IT, IT system admin and anyone who is willing to apply for jobs in DevOps. First, I will show you some of the job descriptions that I have applied personally to few of the top product based companies and how the job description will look like, what are the tools that are included and what are the red flags that you need to be aware before applying to any DevOps job or when you are going to get an offer from a company, whether to join or not, what are the things that you need to consider? I'll be discuss discussing everything in detail. So stay tuned till the end of this video. If you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel and share the link with your friends. And also don't forget to check out my handwritten notes on Docker, Kubernetes, as well as Linux I've shared in the previous videos. You can check out on my YouTube channel. So let's get started. So first of all, I will show you some job descriptions, which I have applied for various kinds of companies. So if you can see here last two months ago to months ago so whatever uh, I, I actually apply to various kinds of jobs on architect roles automation role and uh, uh, senior software engineer roles site reliability engineering lead roles so all these companies that I have applied two months ago three months ago five months ago only to tell you all that what are the type of interview questions are coming how the DevOps and SRE job market is right now and at the same time I wanted to make sure that all my prime batch students get all the interview questions that I am clearing for particular interview or if I'm not clearing also, I'm going to share all those things uh, to my hey DevOps Prime Batch students. So let's get started. So I'll be taking out uh, the SRE uh, Site Reliability Engineering lead position. So if you can see, I'll just tell you like how this job descriptions are there and what are the red flags uh, you need to be vis uh, finding out in that. So if you can see here, I'll just read out five to nine years of experience in handling large scale systems. That's good. Uh, a self starter able to build, drive and advocate for an SRE solution, effective cross functional collaboration skills to develop tools for secure, reliable and rela uh, and scalable systems, solid understanding of SRE concepts like SLAs, SLIs, SLOs, error budgeting, MTTR, MTTD, experience with variety of tools that help manage, understand and debug large scale complex distributed systems good programming experience, hands-on experience on Docker and Kubernetes. So if you are able to see these all job description looks very genuine and according to the title, it is meeting the requirements. So SRE engineering lead should be knowing all these things and it is meeting perfectly meeting the required requirements. Now you will tell me Praveen, what are the red flags in this job description? How can I look out for startup opportunities? How I can find out whether I can join a particular company or not? Let's discuss one by one. So if you are able to see, I have prepared a particular document according to my job search experience, how the things I was filtering out when I was able to apply for any kind of job search, I'll read one by one. So stay tuned till the end of this video. Don't skip this video because these all things will play an important role in your job search and will definitely help you in stepping up in your ladder and tell me these things okay so all of you see here some of the things is you will own everything in devops so it means that it's a big red flag so whenever you see in the job description you are owning the end-to-end -end product system you are owning the end-to-end -end CI/CD solution you are owning end-to-end -end kubernetes solutions it's kind of a red flag and you need to be aware that you are going to be one person in the team who is handling the entire systems and architecture end-to-end -end flow deployments everything so make sure that you ask any kind of question before you raise or apply to these kind of job opportunities, right? So that's very much important. So that's what I tell, like look out for better positions than that. Uh, there are many, many opportunities, but still, if you are willing to apply, apply and give a try for those kind of interviews. Now, very important, 24 bar seven on-call rotation, very, very hectic guys. I have seen uh, the IT engineers, software engineers, and the DevOps engineers doing the 24 bar seven, 365 days on-call rotation. Saturday, Sunday, 24 by 7, they are into the system solving the problems for a product deployment or any kind of error in the production. Now, I have personally worked on on-call. So in a good product-based company, you will have something like morning shift, which will be taken care by IST team and the evening shift, which will be taken care by your US counter folks, right? So it's kind of a 12 hours, 12 hours shift, but I have seen some companies 
who are not having the USA team. For example, Zomato. If you know any kind of companies, comment down in comment section and let me know that, okay, in your company, on call is only taken care by Indian employees, right? Very, very difficult. Your night, you, you don't have a proper sleep. Your entire system metabolism gets changed and you are thinking capability. If you see like gradually as you work on night shifts, your entire body metabolism as well as your mental and physical health will be on a toss. So I am recommending to every DevOps engineers, those who are watching this video, take a note of this very, very important health is the primary thing which you have to be giving very high importance rather than doing the on call. If something like this, if you are seeing in the JD, better to skip that JD or that company. Okay, if you are doing that for money, that's absolutely fine. Some companies pay for the on call, some companies don't pay for the on call. It's up to your uh, assumption. But I'm just telling what are the keywords to look at, right? So I have personally worked on on call. So I am pretty much sure it's very, very very uh, difficult time. Now, whenever you see a vague tooling or buzzword overload, so let's say like some of the JDs, right, for a fresher, see every time for a fresher, there should be a separate job description for an experienced engineer, separate job description for an architect, separate job description. But many a times we see for a fresher, uh, they uh, they put all the tools into that, like CI, CD, Docker, Kubernetes, Terraform, AWS, uh, Docker, CI, CD, Azure, every damn thing they will put into the uh, the tech stack for every developer, the same thing they will do every DevOps engineer, they will do the same thing. So better to avoid those kind of roles. If you are a fresher, I would definitely recommend to check out or talk with the HR, like what are the tools, techniques and the tech stacks are there. If you are an experienced, definitely go ahead and apply. But uh, why it's a red, red flag, I will tell you familiarity with DevOps tools, like maybe like Jenkins, Kubernetes, Docker, Terraform, Ansible, Puppet, Chef, Prometheus, Grafana. When you see these kind of tech stack, you will lack clarity, whether you are working on CI CD, whether you are working on Kubernetes, whether you will be working on containerization, whether you will be working on coding, whether you will be working as an SRE, there is no clarity in this job description because everything is dumped. So you need to be upfrontly asking the HR or the recruiter, whoever has posted the job description. Once you get a call, what position you are actually setting for and what is the roles and responsibilities actually required for this? Do you need, do you really need these kind of tools? Yes or no, you need to get a confirmation. Now, startup mentality, very, very much important. What happens in the startup is basically uh, your team size, your budget and your maturity plays an important role in startup. As you all know, the budget will be less, the team size will be less, the work will be more. So if you are someone who is willing to learn more, who is willing to contribute to the organization a little bit far, uh, who is willing to learn as much as the things that comes on your way, then startup is very good organization. But trust me, uh, people who have went to startup learning curve is gradually very good. But in terms of your physical and mental and the stress that you are going to take in particular job role that will be again on the toss. So make sure it's your responsibility uh, at the prime time, like 23, 24, 25 age at the start of the career. Startups are really good because you will learn a lot more things. You are going to drive the entire end to end systems. But again, it will be a toss. Whenever there is a job description where the fifth point I'm going to tell whenever you see like no mention of CI CD or testing or automation, that's a red flag. Why it's a red flag. Let me tell you, these are foundational to DevOps. Okay. Like CI CD, Terraform, Kubernetes, Docker. If you're not able to see, you should be able to understand that in that company, only the on-premise solutions are there or anything which is inbuilt by the engineers inside the company is there. For example, in Walmart, if you are able to see some of the systems are inbuilt. Okay. So at that point of time, for example, I'm, I'm just telling an example. One ops in Walmart is developed internally and they, they use heavily the one ops. Okay. One ops platform for on-premise deployments. Uh, rather than choosing cloud uh, like AWS and G uh, sorry, Azure and GCP, which is a multi-cloud architecture platform for uh, for uh, Walmart. Uh, so some kind of platforms are like this. And if by chance you're going to sit in these kind of job roles, then you're gone because the same repetitive task you'll be going to do. No learning curve, no promotions, no hikes, and you will be stagnant down the line one to two years. Your colleagues who have done good SRE project, good DevOps projects, who will be climbing up the ladder. So make sure that you are not in that stagnant position and tell me I am telling all these things true or not. If you have watched this video till then, you should be able to understand that. Yes, whatever Praveen is telling, it's the truth. Uh, unclear role boundaries again, very much important. You don't know what are the schools scope of your responsibility, what you are going to do. Once you join the organization, you take the offer and you come to know that like, okay, it's a 24 by seven support role. It's a 24 by seven, 365 days on call role. So very, very much important. You need to take care of everything that are mandatory for your, uh, your, 
next career or the future okay so make sure that you are doing that we are just getting started with devops so this is again one more thing see for every red flag that you are seeing in this pointers your health and your time that you are spending in front of laptop both are directly proportional the more the time you spend on in front of laptop your health is going to take a toss right so what i'm going to tell uh, here is whenever you are applying for any kind of company check with the hiring manager check with the hiring recruiter check in the interview every time ask the cross questions what is your job role what are the responsibilities what are the tools how much is the team size do you have on call or not do you have any kind of support system or not do you have jira tracking or not what is the cycle of the company what is the performance cycle of the company uh, where the company is located what uh, is it work from home not work from home what are the perks that you are going to get once you join the company how much hike you are going to get everything you have the freedom to ask because they are hiring you for a particular job role title from title to the offer to getting a job to getting a laptop to getting any kind of goodies from the organization you have every right to ask the recruiter and your hiring manager and never miss to ask on call is there or not because once you join you cannot escape from that because saturday and sunday it's gone your health is gone your mental ability everything is going to be tossed because it's like sitting on a weapon okay when it will explode we don't know so if you are agreeing with me uh, tell me in the comment section and uh, please take my notes it's available in the youtube i have given my linux notes kubernetes notes docker notes every job description is important so make sure that you go thoroughly and i have done many videos on top product based companies you can apply to those companies get good offers and i am wishing you everyone from bottom of my heart to get good jobs going forward so uh, stay tuned and like the video and share it with your friends if you found this useful this is Praveen signing off from this video meet you in the next video until then take care bye